Hello, this is Itsu. Uh, looking at this uh, EEV block uh, video description uh, below shows the link. Uh, I was wondering if I can, could use my uh, function, my uh, spectrum analyzer and uh, tracking generator to plot a similar uh, output as Dave shown here, meaning the. Uh, ESR equivalent series resistance of a capacitor, capacitor versus the frequency to see where the lowest ESR value will be. Um, I set up my uh, spectrum analyzer and tracking generator to have a span of uh, 50 megahertz center frequency 25 in which most of the capacitors will uh, have the lowest value. I put in a kind of uh, IC socket where I can plug in most of the capacitors, not all but some. And I will sweep uh, a range. I have uh, normalized this setup so we have a flat range and I will be inserting some uh, values cap to see uh, where the uh, lowest ESR value will be. I will start with a 100 nanofarad cap. I have to hold it in my hand because it will not stick in the small uh, sockets. And we can see that uh, we have a dip at the beginning which will be around 100 Hz. Uh, let me put up a uh, marker and uh, to show you the frequency. Hang on. Ok, so I put a marker on the dip, in the dip which is the lowest ESR and you can see it uh, points to 2 MHz. So this 100 nanofarad cap has the lowest ESR at uh, 2 MHz. Ok, uh, changing over to a 10 nanofarad cap, which will stick, hopefully. And you can see that the dip has moved, so I have to move the marker. So this one has the lowest ESR value around 7.3 MHz. Ok, continuing to uh, the 3 nanofarad. Ok, 3 nanofarad in and this one also has to move the ESR, the lowest ESR value uh, which is around 18.7 MHz. Ok, finally I have a 1 nanofarad cap. Ok, 1 nanofarad in. And the dip also moves to 35 MHz. And uh, this one has a lower ESR value than the rest, but uh, this is normal when going up in frequency. Ok, looking uh, what will happen if I add the 10 and the uh, 100 nanofarad together to see if we can broaden the, the dips. Hang on. Ok, I've put in 4 caps, 1, 3, 10 and 100 nanofarad caps. And I uh, put some markers there on the frequency we have uh, the first dip is the uh, highest value 100 nanofarad cap with dips around 2.6 megahertz the second uh, dip is the 10 nanofarad cap with dips around 7.2 megahertz the third cap is a 3 nanofarad cap with dips around 16.8 MHz and finally uh, the 1 nanofarad cap at uh, marker 4 about 38 MHz. 
The last one is a little bit out of range, but we can see that the first three and caps, different caps, show that we can broaden the lowest ESR value, like Dave showed on his uh, whiteboard. We cannot see uh, how low the ESR value is, but uh, we have an indication that uh, it is uh, where it peaks and which, uh, which values we can use to, uh, to minimize some, uh, some oscillations or whatever using the correct uh, value using this uh, spectrum analyzer. Okay, thank you for watching.